There are exactly 50 days until the presidential election, and the wheels are coming off the Romney campaign on a day that began with reports of disastrous decision-making and dissension among the Romney campaign staff. Tonight, the Romney campaign is reeling from the leak of a secretly recorded video of Mitt Romney speaking all too candidly at a campaign fundraiser where he managed to insult and lie about 150 million Americans. The video features Romney speaking at a fundraiser for wealthy donors sometime after Romney clinched the nomination. It was recorded surreptitiously and provided to the liberal magazine Mother Jones. Last three years, all everybody's been told is don't worry, we'll take care of you. How are you gonna do it in two months before elections to convince everybody you gotta take care of yourself? campaign responded to the video with this statement that wasn't Mitt Romney speaking well no actually they couldn't say that they wish they could have said that but it very clearly is Mitt Romney speaking and the campaign confirmed that by not contesting it in any way here is the statement that the losing presidential campaign came up with in response to Mitt Romney getting caught on tape Mitt Romney wants to help all Americans struggling in the Obama economy. As the, gov the, as the governor has made clear all year, he is concerned about the growing number of people who are dependent on the federal government, including the record number of people who are on food stamps, nearly one in six Americans in poverty, and the 23 million Americans who are struggling to find work. Mitt Romney's plan creates 12 million new jobs in four years, grows the economy, and moves Americans off of government dependency and into jobs. We're we're waiting to get video of Mitt Romney's little apology moment uh, tonight. As soon as we have it in, we will roll whatever there is of it. Let's listen to Mitt Romney taking questions in California tonight. They taxes saw themselves as victims or weren't willing to take responsibility for their own lives and their own futures. Do you have any response to that? What did you mean by that? Well, you, you said a number of things there, and the, the answer is that uh, I'm talking about the po political process of drawing people into my campaign. Uh, of course, individuals are, are going to take responsibility for their life, and my campaign is about helping people take more responsibility and becoming uh, employed again, particularly those that don't have, don't have work. This whole campaign is focused on getting people jobs again, putting people back to work. Th this is ultimately a, a question about direction for the country. Do you believe in a government-centered society that provides more and more benefits, or do you believe instead in a free enterprise society where people are able to pursue their dreams? I believe the latter will help more people get good jobs. This is a campaign fundamentally about how to help the middle class in America and how to bring people out of poverty into the middle class. And we've seen the results of the last three, four years, and it has not worked. My approach will get 12 million new jobs and rising take-home pay. Yes, Steve? You're not stepping away from anything you said in this video, are you? You're not backing away from anything. And do you worry you've offended this 47% who you mentioned? Well, um, you know, it's not elegantly stated. Let me put it that way. I'm speaking off the cuff in response to a, a question, and I'm sure I could state it more clearly and in a more effective way uh, than, I, than I did in a setting like that. Um, and so I'll, I'm sure I'll, I'll point that out as time goes on. But we don't even have the question, given the snippet there, nor the full response. And I, I hope the person who has the video would put out the the full uh, uh, the, the full material but it's a it's a message what I which I'm
I'm going to carry and continue to carry, which is, look, the, the president's approach is attractive to people who aren't not paying taxes because, frankly, my discussion about lowering taxes isn't as attractive to them, and therefore I'm not likely to draw them into my campaign as effectively as those who are in the middle. This is really a discussion about about the political process of, of winning the election, and, and of course I want to help all Americans, all Americans have a bright and prosperous future, and I'm convinced that the president's approach has not done that and will not do that. Yeah, Garrett? Well, Governor, this is now the second time where you've made comments at a fundraiser to donors that are different from what you say on the trail, either in terms of policy, or at least in, at least in this case, in terms of tone. What assurances can you give to voters that you're not saying different things to people who fund your campaign than what you're saying to them in public and on the stage? You're, you're coming to my fundraisers, and uh, this is the same message that I give to people, which is that we have a very different approach, the president and I, between a government-dominated society and a society driven by free people pursuing their dreams. I'm talking about the process of, of campaigns. Typically, I don't talk about process uh, uh, in, in speeches because uh, I think candidates are wiser to talk about policy and their vision than, than to talk about how they're going to win an election. At, at a fundraiser, you have people say, Governor, how are you going to win this? And, and so I respond, well, the president has his group. I have my group. I want to keep my team strong and motivated, and I want to get those people in the middle. Uh, that's something which, uh, which fundraising people who are parting with their monies are very interested in knowing, can you win or not? And that's what this was addressing. Are all of the things that you, you said in the video things you believe, are those poor convictions? Steve Kornacki, uh, that was a desperate man in a desperate situation. Uh, he is, in a, he's not really addressing what he said there. Let's remember what he said. There are 47% of Americans who are with him, with President Obama, who are dependent upon government, who believe that they are victims, who, ha who believe the government has a responsibility to care for them. That man believes that 47% of America thinks we are victims. He also said about those 47%, so my job is not to worry about those people. I'll never convince them that they should take personal responsibility responsibility and care for their lives. There, there is no more insulting thing that a presidential candidate, and, and it's a lie, by the way, that a presidential candidate has ever said about 47% of America. I think what we just saw was part one of Mitt Romney's concession speech of defeat of this campaign, and we will see the rest of it on election night.